So we tested a drug called uh, ursenentrine, and this was a drug that increased cyclic GMP in the cerebrospinal fluid. So that, that's um, a second messenger that's very important in synapses and in memory formation. And our hypothesis was that if we increase cyclic GMP in spinal fluid, that would improve synaptic function and improve the symptoms of dementia with Lewy bodies. Uh, we tested this in uh, approximately 200 people with dementia with Lewy bodies, randomized them to the treatment versus placebo, and followed them for 12 weeks. Unfortunately, we did not see an effect of, uh, of the treatment in dementia with Lewy bodies when we looked at either cognition or, or a global scale. Uh, we did feel that it was important to fully explore the data and it, there's an understanding that dementia with Lewy bodies frequently co-occurs with Alzheimer's pathology. And with the new availability uh, a, of blood-based biomarkers, we went back and tested the samples of participants in the clinical trial and identified those that had amyloid in the brain and those that didn't have amyloid in the brain. We know now that in, in general, there may be differences in the clinical course between those two populations. And we wanted to understand whether there might be differences in response to treatment in those two populations. In this double blind study, when we looked at the subpopulation that had no amyloid in the brain, we, and this was a very exploratory analysis, there did appear to be a signal of potential efficacy in that population. And we thought that that might be because they have more preservation of synapses, maybe more responsive to the mechanism of action. To follow that up, we had a poster where we looked at people with dementia with Lewy bodies, both with and without amyloid, also Parkinson's disease dementia with and without amyloid, to see whether the elevation in cyclic GMP in the spinal fluid differed between those populations. Um, our hypothesis did not really pan out. We saw a very high elevation of, of cyclic GMP, 150% to 200% or more increase, irrespective of whether uh, people had amyloid or not. Um, but we'll con we continue to study the data. And the, uh, I think what, what this also showed us is that it's these neurodegenerative diseases aren't homogeneous, that there, there are differences in pathology, there are co-pathologies, and pl when planning these clinical trials, it's important to be able to assess those, in, in, pr in particular to identify the, the populations that, that for which these treatments might be most effective. Re regarding that drug specifically, um, as, a, as a PDE9 inhibitor and the, the mechanism of action um, how does this, this agent, I know it didn't really show as much as you thought it would, but how does this agent sort of fit into the space, um, whether that's dementia with Lewy bodies or Parkinson disease dementia, you know, just talk a little bit more about that. That's, that's a good question, one that, that we're still studying. We know that the, the drug has a very strong pharmacodynamic effect. It, it does increase cyclic GMP in the cerebrospinal fluid, and it does it over a sustained period of time. Uh, what we don't know is what condition will benefit the most by doing that. Uh, our hypothesis was that, that dementia with Lewy bodies uh, would be that condition, um, but we did not see the, the efficacy in that clinical trial. And we'll, we continue to explore other potential options for conditions that, that might benefit by this mechanism of action.